It's 10 trivia questions on dolls. Some are creepy, some are fine. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be and welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. Do you want 150 bucks? Refer me to a friend who books a virtual trivia bingo or game show party with me, and I will zell you, PayPal you, or Venmo you 150 bucks cash, no questions asked. I will probably ask you questions. Uh, people always say that, no questions asked, and then they usually do ask questions. I'll be like, hey, what's your PayPal? You know, So there's a question right off the bat. But if you want to make some quick money, very easy way to do that. Um, I would love to do a show for your friend, your family, your coworker. And if you refer me and I book something, 150 bucks to you just for doing that. That special offer only going on this week, March 20th through the 27th. So hit me up as soon as you can. Go to TriviaWithBuds.com, click on contact, or go to RyanBuds at gmail.com and send me an email. If you have a couple people in mind, you're like, I think these five people would want to do something like that. And maybe I only book one of them or two of them. That's fine too. You can send me a bunch of names and uh, I'll hit up all those people, see if I can get something going. If I get something going, you get something going, some money into your account. So hit me up. I would love to do that. First time offering cash on the podcast, but uh, hey, it's fun to switch things up and see what comes of it. That's what life's all about. Thanks for listening. Your episode today is all about real dolls and uh, they're not all real, but mostly fictionalized dolls. We'll get to those questions after your geek out challenges. Here they are. Name four films about children's sports teams, two trivia-based game shows. There's a fun one. Two titles of books in which a pirate appears. Songs that have had a cover version by another famous performer. It doesn't say a number there. It just says songs. So maybe two. Start off with two. And four actors who have played a non-fictional U.S. president. Non-fictional U.S. president. All right. Those are your challenges. And we're ready for real doll trivia. Ten questions. Eleven, probably. On some creepy and non-creepy stuff. Here we go. It's real doll trivia. Question number one. Charles Lee Ray is known by what other one word doll name? Number one, Charles Lee Ray is known by what other one-word doll name? Number one. Question number two, what two colors were the first ever Barbie dolls swimsuit? First swimsuit for a Barbie doll or what two colors? Number two, number two. Number three, the killer doll movie Annabelle was a spinoff of what other horror movie? Number three, the killer doll movie Annabelle was a spinoff of what other horror movie? Number four, in 1985, what talking bear toy came with audio cassettes he could read to kids? Number four, in 1985, what talking bear toy came with audio cassettes he could read to children? Number five, on the Rugrats, what is the name of Angelica's favorite doll? On the Rugrats, what is the name of Angelica's favorite doll? Number six, what year did Bratz dolls come out? 95, 2001, or 2010? What year did Bratz dolls come out? 95, 2001, or 2010? Number seven, what color pants did Raggedy Andy usually wear? Number seven, what color pants did Raggedy Andy usually wear? Number eight, which one is not a Dolly Parton song? Is it Jolene, Here You Come Again, Dumb Blonde, or Into These Open Arms? Which one is not a real Dolly Parton song? Jolene, Here You Come Again, Dumb Blonde, or Into These Open Arms? Question number nine, what is the evil ventriloquist dummy's name from the Goosebumps series? Number nine, what's the evil ventriloquist dummy's name from Goosebumps?
And number 10, what horror film franchise from Full Moon Features started in 1989 and has produced 10 sequels? Full Moon Features, 1989, 10 sequels. And your bonus question for two points, what doll type toy was the first to be advertised on television? What doll type toy was the first to be advertised on TV? Those are your questions for Doll Trivia. We'll be right back after this with the answers. Back with the answers to Real Doll Trivia. Let's see if you got 11 out of 11 on this quiz. Number one, Charles Lee Ray is better known as Chucky. Chucky from the hit horror series. I've not seen the new television series, but here it's pretty good. I uh, got to check it out. Number two, what two colors? Were the first ever Barbie doll swimsuit, black and white black and white back in the day. I want to say that was the 50s, 40s. Number three, the killer doll movie, Annabelle, was a spinoff of The Conjuring. Uh, Annabelle, I did watch because it is my daughter's name and it's real bad. The first Annabelle, like almost nothing happens in the entire movie. Uh, the second one I heard is better, maybe the second and third ones, but I, I saw the first one, real boring. Number four, 1985, what talking bear toy came with audio cassettes he could read to kids? Teddy Ruxpin. 1985, Teddy Ruxpin. Number five on the Rugrats, what is the name of Angelica's favorite doll? It's Cynthia. And in my head, I'm like, oh, Malibu Stacy, but that's Lisa Simpson's favorite doll. Cynthia was uh, another Barbie type doll for Angelica on Rugrats. Number six, Bratz dolls came out at the start of the millennium, 2001. 2001. Number seven, Raggedy Andy usually wears blue pants. Number eight, the song that's not a Dolly Parton song is Into These Open Arms. Sounds like a Creed song. But Jolene, Here You Come Again, and Dumb Blonde are all Dolly Parton songs. Number nine, what's the evil ventriloquist dummy's name from Goosebumps? Slappy. Number 10, what horror film franchise from Full Moon Features started in 1989 and has produced 10 sequels? That was Puppet Master. Puppet Master. And the bonus for two points, what doll toy was the first to be advertised on TV? Mr. Potato Head. Mr. Potato Head. And there you have it. Uh, 11 questions on dolls. Hope you had fun playing along with those. Your fact of the day today is if you have $10 in your pocket in the U.S. and no debts, you are wealthier than 25% of Americans. So grab that 10 bucks, pay off your debts, and you'll be in uh, the upper echelon here of our society in the U.S. Thanks for listening today, guys. Thanks for telling a friend. And remember, if you want uh, another 150 bucks to add to that $10 in your pocket, hit me up with referrals. And if I book them, I'll send you money. Uh, We'll see you next time for more trivia with Buds. Cheers.